What is going on guys? It's Austin Optic Maja, whatever floats your boat. In today's video, I managed to get a nuclear on Gauntlet, aka the map that has three maps in one, basically. Alright, so I know the DLC has been out for about a week and a half, almost two weeks now. Uh, actually, yeah, it has been two weeks now that I think about it, or a week, I don't even know. But the maps have been out for a while now, but they are not old. I am not sick of them. I still love the maps just as much as they were before. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of Treyarch, and Treyarch always does such a good job. And just because I like something does not mean I'm getting paid by them. Alright, in the words of Casey Neistat, if I was getting paid to say something, I would definitely just come out and say I'd be getting paid. But that's not the case right here. Uh, I managed to get a nuclear on this, and uh, I think Sprat was live streaming at the time. And me and Spratty have this thing. And look at this. I'm just going off here with... Oh, look at that. You see this? We're, we're, we're slick out here. All right? We're doing a good job. And um, I do pick up a Man of War. And then me and, me and Spratty, we have this thing where uh, one of us is, like, on a decent streak or whatever. We will, we will like, kind of jinx each other. Like, well, if we miss a clip, we're just like, oh, if only you were better. It's like, ah, oh, I know, man. If only I was better, I would have had that. And, um... <laughs> and whenever we're on like a streak or whenever we look at the scoreboard and we see that one of us is at like 14 and 0 or like 18 and 0 or something like that, it's like, oh, you're gonna get this nuclear streak, huh? And I swear, every single time that Spratty says he's on, or I look at Sprat's score and he's on like an 18 and 0 or like 24 and 0, and I'm like, you're gonna, that, you're gonna get that nuclear, Sprat? He never gets the nuclear as soon as I point it out. <laughs> it's one of the funniest things ever. But this is the one he tried to do it to me uh, on live streams. Like, you're going to get that nuclear promotion. He's like, you know what, James? I'm not like you. I will get this nuclear even if you try and jinx me out right now. So that's what happens. And it's, uh, it's just a good time. Uh, so I would like to apologize for not streaming on Twitch uh, as much recently. I've been on this new grind. Let me tell you, this uh, this new this new grind I've been doing, it's, it's, it's something that I've always wanted to do. It's something I just feel like I need to work a lot more harder than before. So I've been pushing, I've been doing the, obviously the, the videos a day on this channel, but I've also been doing daily vlogs on my second channel, along with uh, increasing my workout time uh, by probably about another 45 minutes. So I'm like in there a lot longer. And this just, I'm, and I'm still preparing myself for like a new, just, I'm just, I, it was just a change that needed to happen. Right, I, it was something I was. I feel like it was getting a little bit too repetitive, so I decided to, you know, put a little bit more pressure on me and adapt to a new workflow and a new work style, and always be productive, finding the most out of the days. And you know, I, I kind of feel like that. I was, I was watching The Rock on Instagram. Right, if you guys don't know who The Rock is, Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, the, 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 the male Beyonce, if you will. Uh, he's a he's a grinder. Kevin Hart is a grinder. Casey Neistat is a grinder. I was watching all of those guys. And I just got really inspired. It's like you know what? I need to push myself to something that I never thought I could do. So I'm over here. I'm pushing myself and I'm making myself a lot more productive. I'm doing a lot more and I'm also also gonna be having another channel opened up on Pomage Plays very soon. Just gotta figure out which kind of videos to make uh into what to put on it even though i can really just put anything on that one my awesome homage vlogs almost at 50k subscribers if you guys are wondering where the optics scuff house vlogs are they are on that channel so i uh, just got to get more consistent with that not a lot of people know where to find the optics scuff house vlogs anymore so if that's where they are chances are i will be reminding you guys like once in a once in a while at the beginning of every video or whatever you know just to just to share with you guys a little bit of information where to find the vlogs if you guys are interested in that but uh yeah this this new grind it's just been it's it's been nice. It's been challenging. I've been doing it for like uh, like five days or so. And look at Brad. He's like choking his clip right here. He he couldn't get it. He couldn't get it. He almost did, but uh, he, he couldn't do it. But uh, I've just been really motivated recently. And you know, the past two years, I feel like I've been kind of doing the same thing, um, uh, in terms of like schedule, waking up, making a video, working on you know a, a bigger video over time. And always ending off with going to the gym, then sleeping, then repeating. Uh, that's what it's been for the most part. But then, I don't know what it's been, man. It's just been, I just got super motivated. And I was just like, you know what? I need a change. All right. And here we go. We're on the brutal right now. Man of War. And I'm getting nervous because James is over here trying to jinx me out. Trying to make sure I don't get this nuclear. Trying to make sure I crash and utterly fail. All right. And, you know, that's just not the case. We come through on top here on the map. In three maps. All right, there's literally three maps in one. I think that's pretty cool. I think uh, this map definitely needs to be put in ground war. I feel like it's it's not in ground war. 
which is kind of lame to be honest because this map is definitely big enough to to work with ground war there's just so many lanes and so many ways to get to the middle it'd be a fantastic ground war map i would also like it if safeguard was removed from ground war but it's already been proven that that's not ever going to happen so a little upsetting uh let, oh sorry i just burped let me know how you guys are enjoying the new weapons as well by the way this is uh this was probably about four or five days after the dlc came out uh but it's also probably a week uh before or after no a week before the dlc weapons even came out so i'm really enjoying the pistols the marshall 16s chances are they're gonna get nerfed the, the way i'm using those guns it's like if you guys played mw2 back then um i'm kind of treating them like the the rangers right because on the rangers you would you would only you would only have two but i guess it's, it's a good thing that those guns or those pistols don't you can't have fast mags on it and i almost died there for the nuclear I was like so close, but I already got the nuclear there using the CUDA and then I eventually die. I think I die like right here or something like that. I just get, I just, I started feeling myself a little bit more, but then I die. But uh, I've been using them like the Rangers. I feel like that's been a smarter way. I was having a lot of fun using fast mags on it, but uh, I figured, you know, maybe I should start using them like the Rangers. So if you guys don't know the Rangers, you have to go, you have to shoot one. And then when you're reloading the one, you shoot the other guy. And then when you're done reloading that one, it's kind of slower, but it's more the, the guns are consistent enough to make it work right they don't they have a it's a fair range i think um they are it is two shotgun shells so when people say it is like overpowered it is two shotgun shells and you probably should die if you get shot by two shotgun shells so uh i do i think it's overpowered a little bit but i don't see how they would nerf them i wouldn't want them to nerf it to a point where they're just absolutely useless because i think that'd be pretty dumb to do that and uh damn surprise just over here like busting three pieces out left and right man um but yeah it's just kind of my cup of tea on it i'm still getting used to the ballistic or the uh the shadow claw i think that's a really cool gun um i'm still it's there's a lot more slope on it if you guys know what i mean compared to the ballistic knife on black ops 2 and black ops 3 i mean black ops 1 uh you need to really arc it more you have to lead the shot a little bit more but that's that's understandable i don't think you can get headshots with it I don't think you can. I kind of wish you could, though. I've tried a couple times. Maybe I just haven't nailed them in the head or anything like that. Because I really wanted to get, like, two sniper kills and then, like, you know, get a headshot. Like, uh, how you could in Black Ops 2. But that's uh, that's, uh, that's just completely up to them. Uh, I will say, in all honesty, I'm a little, a little, little, little disappointed that we didn't see any love towards the snipers. Like, we saw love towards the pistols. We saw love towards the um the assault rifles and we saw love towards the melee weapons don't get me wrong i love using a soul caliber blade and cutting people's arms off i'm a very big fan of that but i kind of wish you know we could get a oh i almost hit a coffee there uh i kind of wish we would have got like a different scope or something like that you know like not like a like a thermal or a variable or anything like that like you know just like if you guys have played cod online if you guys remember my videos on that you could have different kind of scopes on that on that game and it was just like it kind of add a little bit more variety onto it even though like it's the same gun but it just looks a little bit different i kind of like that you know so small things like that just like how they're putting soul caliber blades and fucking uh the iron gym in and brass knuckles and all that it's the small things that in the game that people really appreciate a little bit more here and there so you know maybe maybe the next patch maybe they'll do another one i'm still solely convinced that there's going to be another like special gun because let's be real let's be real when you look on the list of the the special guns right there's only the shadow claw so there's i totally genuinely believe that there's going to be more special guns out there plus there's still we're still over here speculating where the 10th specialist is or ninth i don't know i don't know how many specialists there are there's a 10th or ninth or something like that i don't know we i guarantee we are going to get one it's obvious because in this map specifically on gauntlet there's a there's a 10th rack or, or there's a 10th little case has a jack of fucking spades in there and it's just chilling there all right and i don't when are we going to get it i have absolutely no idea i hope it's cool though just like how i like i just want everything else to be cool you know so anyway this game is coming close to an end here we're uh, we're closing it off we're we we were trying i remember having this one game before we tried a 250 and know them but you know that's just that's just damn hard i hope you guys thank you guys for the ongoing support on all the videos recently i've been having a lot of fun making these videos especially with like newer stuff and did i kill this guy no i didn't uh have, have, i've been having a lot of fun making videos with sprat make, making fun videos with seth i gotta make more videos i really want to make more videos with uh matt or nate shaw i want to make more videos with Krim. i want to make more videos with just everyone so i'm so glad you guys are enjoying them if there's any ideas you guys want to be a part of or you guys want to sauce over 
to us, the Optic people, or Sprat, let us know. We're open. And then by the by the light of the moon, I will try my best to make these ideas happen and become the reality. All right, because I've just been having a lot more fun collaborating. And honestly, ask every single YouTuber out there. Ask every single one. Chances are they would prefer a collaboration more than just like, you know, playing by themselves. In all honesty, because it's just like... You know, you're talking to yourself, or you're talking to another person, you're talking to another bud, and you're just having a blast. So, this game, come close to the end. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up, because this is my third nuclear in the DLC maps. I'm still trying to get one on Splash. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. If you guys really need a favorite corner, subscribing. Oh my god, I'm stuttering on my words, and I'm awesome. Imagine we'll see you guys later.